Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing something that I'm really excited about and that is a book outlet unboxing haul. Okay, it's not really an unboxing because I've had these books sitting in my other bedroom, my guest bedroom, waiting to haul them for you guys for like, like a month. <laughs> So they've literally just been sitting in a box, which shows that obviously I haven't got a lot of reading done this month, being that I barely touched these books. So I'm really excited to share them with you guys. So if you guys don't know what Book Outlet is, it is such a cool place. I found it from BookTube, and it's basically just a disc an online discounted bookstore. So basically a bunch of books that have come as kind of like an overflow from other bookstores or things you know where they just have too many as that's what I understand anyways like I'm not sponsored by book outlet or anything at all like I'm genuinely just a customer that loves buying books there I've really grown my book collection from purchasing off of book outlet because I got really into the whole book world um, within this last year so I, I mean I've always been a book lover but I've gotten more into it and into booktube within the last year so I've definitely grown my collection so if you guys are interested in checking out book outlet I will link something down below it is just like my refer a friend link so I get like some points if you buy from my link you can go to the website yourself if you don't want to click on my link but it's not like I'm getting any money I really just get a discount and you can do the same thing once you sign up it's not anything that's gonna get me any money it's not sponsored just a normal customer just wanna put that out there at the beginning of this video okay so one of the things that um, is interesting about book outlet is for one it does take quite a bit of time to get the books usually it takes several weeks well not several like a couple weeks at least two to three is what I've noticed for me anyways when I order off book outlet which is totally fine because I'm getting cheap books this entire box of books that I got only cost me about $35 and I did use a $20 uh, coupon that I had earned from purchasing and getting points. So after like so many points you can get like coupons and stuff. I think it's like 400 points is a $20 coupon and that's what I used to get my $20 coupon. So sorry, I'm really going off on a spiel. You probably just wanna see the books. So I'm not really gonna give much a description about these books because I don't really know a lot about them. I'm just gonna show you what I got and tell you kind of why I got them. The first book that I got is Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake. And I don't really know why I got this. I, <laughs> I've seen a lot of people talk about it and I think that's kind of what it was. It was a little bit of like FOMO if you're missing out. I really wanted to try out this book. I don't really know anything about it, although I see crowns and crowns sound interesting and that reminds me of kings and queens. So I'm hoping this is a little bit of like royalty. So I'm excited to jump into this book and see what it is all about. The next book that I got on Book Outlet is Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Mass. And I really did kind of wait for this book to come onto book outlet because I wanted to get it at a discounted price and I'm not anywhere near close to the end of this series so obviously I wasn't in a rush to get the book so I am glad I waited um, I don't remember how much I actually paid for this one the only thing about some book outlet books is they do come with a little bit of like bumps and bruises on them not necessarily a lot most of the time it's just like a mark on the top of your book um, you can get the scratch and dent version which is like really cheap but sometimes when you get scratch and dent they come looking really rough and so I don't want my books to look rough but I don't mind a mark or two on them or just a little bit of like a puncture on the side of the spine not too bad but I am excited about um Kingdom of Ash I've actually only read the first book in this series and I know a lot of people are like up and down some people love Sarah J Mass and the Kingdom of or sorry, the Throne of Glass novels and some people hate them. I really loved the first one and I am going to reread it and then dive into the world um, a lot more intensely, but I, I just really was excited about it and I want to collect the whole series. So that's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I am a huge Megan Miranda fan, so I picked up Soul Print by Megan Miranda. Um, I haven't read a lot of her young adult novels, and this is one of them that is young adult, I do believe. Oh yes, it is. Okay, so she has um, a series like Fracture, I believe is what it's called. I don't know, I haven't really read it, and that's actually next on my list of reading, but I did read her young adult novel, Come Find Me, and I loved it, and I love All the Missing Girls and The Perfect Stranger. I just recently picked up The Last House Guest, which, which was just uh, a new release. So I'm really excited to dive into this and see what it's about. I really don't even know what it's about. Um, I had looked, 
online before I purchased it. But Megan Miranda is one of those authors that I typically love, so whenever I see a book by her, I'm instantly inclined to want to pick it up. Another author that I got extremely obsessed with this last month or so, in the month of May, I read the first and second Truly Devious novel. So I read Truly Devious and The Vanishing Stare, and I absolutely loved it and fell in love with Maureen Johnson. So I picked up her trilogy, The Shades of London trilogy, which would be The Name of the Star, The Madness Underneath, and The Shadow Cabinet. And I really don't know a lot about these. I know it's not anything similar to Truly Devious, but I really wanted to kind of see what her writing style was like and in other books and not just Truly Devious. So um, I believe it says Jack the Ripper is back and he's coming for Rory next. So I don't really know. Um, I think it's like a murder mystery killing spree situation and I love those kinds of things. So I was really excited to try this out and all of the books are blurbed by Cassandra Clare at the top which makes me really happy because Cassandra Clare is awesome. So I'm excited to try reading these and I hope that they live up to my expectations. I haven't seen anyone talk about them. I'm sure they're old honestly. Um, Truly Devious is what's popping right now so no one's really talking about her other books but I really wanted to dive into them and see what I thought. So this one I did a little bit of a faux pas on. Um, I purchased both Renegades and Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer but I accidentally got the paperback and the hardcover. I meant to get two hardcovers and I got a paperback and a hardcover on accident. My bad. So the only thing that bothers me <laughs> is the size difference. So like the paperback is significantly shorter than the hardcover, so that's really gonna bug me. So I'm probably eventually going to go ahead and still get the hardcover of Renegades and then maybe pass along the paperback to a friend or donate it. Um, I'm really excited to see what these are all about. Like, I haven't actually, it's like, spoiler alert, I haven't read anything by Marissa Meyer. I haven't read The Lunar Chronicles. I haven't read Heartless. I have both and I haven't read them. So, but like I said, I've been building up my collection and Marissa Meyer is something that I was beginning to build up my collection with. So, I haven't read any. Oh, and speaking of Heartless, I just picked that one up as well. So I'm really hoping that um, I like Marissa Meyer's writing. If not, I guess I will pass these along, but I really have a lot of faith in them. And I've seen so many people talk about Renegades and Arch Enemies. I do know that a lot of it was kind of like a sponsorship going on with like Disney Book Group or whatever. Um, so I'm not sure if they're gonna be something that I'm into, but I'm really, I've got like high hopes and I've got faith that it's gonna be something that I like. The last two books that I picked up are middle grade books and I was really excited about them because they are both middle grade books that I fell in love with when I was a middle school aged gal. Um, one I read in fourth grade and the other one I read like fifth or sixth grade and I just wanted to get them because I just have such emotional attachments to these two books so I picked them up. The first one is Things Not Seen by Andrew Clements. I loved this book. I read this book in fourth grade and this book right here, this is the book that sparked me into loving reading so much. If it wasn't for this book, I don't think I ever would have become the reader that I became. Um, I picked this up in fourth grade, didn't really know what to think of it. I was a fourth grader um, and I loved it. I loved every ounce of this book. I have not read this book since fourth grade. I don't know if I'm going to reread it because I'm afraid that when I do, it's not gonna be nearly what it was when I was in fourth grade and I'm gonna be very sad. But I just wanted to have it on my shelves. I actually used to have the hardcover version of this book and I have no idea what happened to it. It's probably lost in the sea of things that I have left over at my parents house. I'm sure I'll find it one day but I saw it on there for like two dollars and I was like I need this. Um, the other book that I had to pick up was Nightmare Mountain by Peg Carrot. I don't actually know how to pronounce that but I read this book in middle school and I remember it was a very old rickety hardcover book and I lived in the library when I was in middle school. I had a very close relationship with my librarian. I'm not even kidding. We were like the best of pals. <laughs> she called me her book fair queen because I always bought the most books at the book fair. And so she would actually take pictures of me at the book fair when I was like purchasing my books and hang them up in the library. And I literally was 
the book fair queen in the library which was awesome and I also helped with it my eighth grade year and it was like the greatest experience of my life that was so long ago like that was 2008 when that happened but <laughs> I just remember it it was one of the best things and I remember asking her like I need a new book to read do you have any recommendations and she said pick up Nightmare Mountain and she told me don't judge the book by the cover I know it looks rough but it's a really good book and it did not have this cover at all but this is very 80s to me like 80s 90s cover it's very old school but I loved this book and I remember I told all my friends when they were look looking for books to read I was like go pick up Nightmare Mountain don't judge the book by its cover I literally said the same thing that my librarian had said shout out to Mrs. Thompson um, <laughs> you were awesome but she really inspired me to read this book and I got all my friends reading it and literally every single one of them was like that was one of the greatest books I'd ever read. Um, I definitely want to reread it and see if it's still as good. Obviously I'm not a middle school aged girl anymore so I'm probably not gonna have the love for it that I once did but my niece is a middle school aged girl so maybe if I don't have the love for it I can let her borrow it and she can have the love that I had for it. Um, it's a different time <laughs> now so she might not even care about it but that's okay. So those are all of the books that I picked up from Book Outlet. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching my Book Outlet haul. Actually the last um, Book Outlet haul I did got quite a few views on it so um, I'm definitely excited to share another one with you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Have you tried Book Outlet? What are your opinions on it? I did get a comment in my last video about how they thought Book Outlet was a scam and not to trust like the YouTubers talking about it because they were all sponsored and I was like whoa 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 no I'm not sponsored at all. I just really love Love book outlet and I've had nothing but success with them so um, I'm a huge fan if you guys have had any bad experiences let me know in the comments because I would love to hear you know everybody's experiences with um, book outlets so thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I hope to see all of you guys in my next one bye guys